replace my flat 13 inch pneumatic gorilla cart tire I got a 13 inch no flat tire from Harbor Freight and the reason I had to get it from Harbor Freight is because the gorilla cart no flat tires online were out of stock one thing about the gorilla cart wheels the no flats is that you need spacers on the back and from what I remember the spacers that came with it weren't sufficient so I had to add a couple of washers just so that it wasn't too loose so when I tried to put this on what I found is that the shank is not long enough to fit the tire so I altered them so that they'd fit. This is how I did it. All right, so I popped the bearings out of the Gorilla Cart tire and the Harbor Freight tire. I measured the Gorilla Cart and it ended up being two and three eighths of an inch long. The Harbor Freight tire when I measured it, it was two and seven eighths inch long. So what I did was I cut a half inch off of this to make it the right size. And then I put the bearings back in and I installed the tire. As an added bonus, these bearings seemed a little cheaper than the Gorilla Cart bearings, so I popped the Gorilla Cart bearings into my Harbor Freight tire. This is the Harbor Freight bearing. It's got a lip on it so it can't get punched into the wheel too far. This is the Gorilla Cart wheel bearing. It just looks a little bit more stout than this Harbor Freight bearing. Now you could take this Harbor Freight bearing and push it right into where the shaft goes through with your hand or with the hammer or something like that or just gently tap it in. Uh, this bearing here from Gorilla Cart was pressed in pretty tightly. So I'm going to use my press to get it in. Now you might be able to use something else and get it in, but I got a press, so that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. 